is a former warehouse. Most of us knuckleheads live in the neighborhoods, north, west, and south of the downtown. You're a neighborhood when you have your own business district, so you can stay in your neighborhood and get your daily commercial needs met without having to come down to the central business district every day. Here in Chicago, the neighborhoods are named often for the public park in the center of the neighborhood. So you're going to hear about Wicker Park, Gage Park, Park, Garfield Park. So, now the city has grown from this river area in northwest and south. A lot of the neighborhoods were originally suburbs. And so as the city expands, it incorporates old suburbs and they become neighborhoods. Particularly in the decade before the World's Fair of 1893, population determined federal funding. The more people you had, the more funding you could get for your World's Fair. So there was quite a boost in population as the city incorporated what were formerly suburbs into neighborhoods. So we have 2.8 million people in the city. About 8 million or so include the suburbs. The third largest metro area in America after New York and Los Angeles. 
across the block. We're different from New York so LA. Anyway, from New York, you've got outside of boroughs, which is a separate township, but the population is considered Metro New York. Same as Los Angeles. Most of Los Angeles is really small, separate townships. We're a little different because we head south. See these posts here next to the bridge? They're called pilots. They're to protect the bridge from errant boats. Now we want to remember that underneath the river in the downtown, a system of old tunnels built in the early 20th century were pulled between the buildings. In April of 1992, we were replacing these pilings. Found a new one in the river bottom, and one broke through into the tunnels. Billions of gallons of river water flooded the tunnels and the basements of the buildings ahead of us. are still down there. We've got communication and construction. Squatters, let me put now. Why not? CD Okaba? I think he might say postmodern because it's bright color. Oh. This might be a 
Civic Opera. The windowless facade here to the left is the back of the stage of the Opera House. Offices above, Art Deco, a sleek central tower of stone around steel, tapering inward as it goes up. Then two smaller structures on either side of the base, and a recessed floor that makes it look like a giant globe. Now we also have neoclassical ornamentation. We've got the comedy and tragedy masks of ancient Greek drama to represent the opera house. So it's not pure like a modern building, but it's still an element to what is recently Art Deco shape. Designed by Bram Anderson, Probst and White, who inherited the firm established by the great Daniel Burnham. balconies looking down at us. They will come in and out of view as we pass by. That is the 103rd floor to the Royal Bay. That is the Sky Deck Observatory. Thank you. 